Hello everyone, and welcome to Game or Pass, the show where I give you the lowdown on a Game Pass game and let you know whether or not I think it's worth your time. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so Psychonauts you've probably heard of because of the release of Psychonauts 2 a week ago, which had rave reviews. Psychonauts is a cult classic you probably missed because 2005 was such a great year in gaming. We had Battlefront 2, Splinter Cell 3, and Forza Motorsports, just to name a few. On top of that, the Xbox 360 launched at the end of that same year. It suffices to say, this title was easily overlooked by the Xbox crowd who tended to lean towards shooters over platformers anyways. Long story short, the game's vivid imagination captured anyone who played it, and over the years has garnered a larger and larger cult following making Psychonauts 2 financially possible. You can find Psychonauts on either PC or Xbox via Game Pass. Same with its newly released sequel. Let's face it, Psychonauts is a really old game now, and with any old game, it has to do something very special for me to recommend it to people. The controls are clunky and imprecise, the tutorial section is too slow and lengthy, collecting really isn't my thing, and the graphics are from a time when Halo 2's elites were cutting edge. Despite all of that, Psychonauts 2 has that, how do you say, Je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. The premise of Psychonauts is simple. You play a psychic kid named Rasputin, he goes by Raz. Raz has run away from his family of circus performers with the dream of being a psychic agent. You spend much of the game learning new skills as you train and explore new minds all in the pursuit of becoming an agent. Things take a twist when you discover your friend is missing his brain and your girlfriend is stolen by nefarious actors trying to take over the world. The art and sense of humor are more akin to Tim Burton and old Nickelodeon cartoons rather than the Pixar-esque aesthetic we get in other platformers. Psychonauts is grotesque, yet beautiful, strange, yet charming, and simple, yet mind-bending all at the same time. Every level is a twisted reflection of the mind that spawned it. Fred's mind is a size-warping game of risk in which you assist him fight Napoleon, his other personality. I'm actually related to him, can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that simple fact! Edgar's mind is a neon-painted platforming artscape wrought with the bull of his regrets and frustrations. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important. Linda the Lungfish's mind, that's right, a fish, sees you as a Godzilla wrecking havoc through a city. Gagalo! That's but a sample of the creativity and diversity on Showcase and Psychonauts level design. Despite being 16 years old, this game still has a lot of new shit to offer veteran gamers. So what's the quick verdict here? Is this a game or is this a pass? Well, despite getting long in the tooth sometimes, I have to recommend it as a game. Sure, it's age shows in every aspect, and you're gonna bang your head against the wall because something's unclear or drawn out in a way that's typical of its time period, but its creativity outshines all of its faults. This was the first time I've ever played Psychonauts, and I'm glad that I did. Now I look forward to playing Psychonauts 2. If you found this useful, please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy this gameplay, and cheers. Top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo!
Hey, Gogaloy! Down here! Excuse me, were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry, every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gogalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogalor. Well, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogalor. To access the Archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogalor! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 Hoo-ya! Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore. For freedom!